hi guys welcome back to spotaria channel so today in this video i'm gonna show you how to change default keyboard to the gboard in samsung a 33 5g but before you continue this video as always i hope you like comment and subscribe to support this channel and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so without any further ado let's get started well firstly you have to download the gboard first so here i'm gonna go to the play store right here And now in this Play Store page, at the top you will see the search bar. So I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna type Gboard. If you don't tap on the search icon in your keyboard right here at the bottom. And yeah, you will see the Gboard at the first option. Now, if you see an install button, you just have to tap on it to install. Now you just have to wait for a minute until it's finished. When the install button changes to the open button, it means it's already finished. So here I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna open my apps page right here. As you can see, I have a Gboard application right here. So now I'm gonna go to the settings first to change it. Right here, I'm gonna tap on it. And after that, scroll it down a bit more until you find general management. And here you are I'm gonna tap on it and after you will see the keyboard list and default go ahead now to change your keyboard default to the Gboard you'll see the Gboard option here at the bottom and also as you can see the toggle is gray that means disable and to enable or to activate it you just have tap on the toggle next to Gboard and after that in this pop-up go ahead to the OK option now I'm gonna go back to see my keyboard I'm gonna search something here and right here is still my keyboard default to change it you can see the option here at the bottom the keyboard button just tap on it and after that you can change it to the Gboard I'm gonna select the Gboard now yeah it's already changed as you can see but don't worry if you want to change again to your keyboard default you can do the same way by tap this button by tap this keyboard button at the bottom and change it again to the Samsung keyboard which is your keyboard default so yeah just it guys I think it's enough thanks for watching this video I hope this video will help you don't forget to leave your comment in the column below I'll see you soon on the next one and good luck mm -hmm.